I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice making quick decisions. This is a good skill to build if you ever want to play online comfortably and they have a timer where you have to make quick decisions or if you ever want to play in a tournament. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app on it. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Okay, I see 369, 369, 369. Keep it all. Maybe even that offsuit. We'll pass those. We might be able to use that. There's some offsuit dragon hands. Let's see. I think I would pass these three. Three! Three, six, nine, dragon. We have, we need a white dragon in here for that offsuit dragon hand. Dragon. Okay, we have two tiles to pass. Let's let the nine go. No keepers. Red dragon. This is the wrong dragon. We need, we need a white dragon. We've got to make a choice here. Let's see here. We'll pass those three. No keepers. Lap. Okay. 369. Maybe 369 dragon. We can use this for the white dragon. Flower. Pear, pear, pear. Pungs. Or we could play three Six nine three six nine knitted. It's knitted because we kind of weave cracks, bams. That's knitted. These would go. Let's see. So I think I would keep all the knot 369 to see what comes in 3699 nine. three discards i think that was a pretty good charleston for 369 we could do knitted let's see 369 with dragons fourth one down if we can get a white dragon probably we're closest to that Maybe discard that. Keep this to see if maybe the knitted comes in or a white dragon. If you would have done something differently, write sprint one and what you would do with these tiles.
flowers, dragon, almost news, two, three, six, seven. I would focus on six sixes. Let's see. Maybe we can do three, six, nine. Maybe we could do east and west with a run. Let's let these go. A dragon. We just let a dragon go. Here's a six and a seven. Three can go. We have no nines. That can go. News with a run. We have flowers though. I think I would I think I would break up the winds. There's an eight. Sixes. We do have some two, four, six, eight now. Two, four, six, eight, sixes. East and west, seven, eight, eight. That's evens. We're kind of with evens now. Evens, mixed suit with flowers, not gonna happen unless you're playing a pair hand, which we could maybe do. Let's risk passing wins like that. Six. I'm thinking the pair hand. Two, four. Oh, wow. Okay, so maybe, maybe the first hand. So we can pass fully. Two, four, six, eight. First hand. We don't need pairs here, though. So maybe the concealed hand, if we can get a dragon. Nope. Pass. Dragon! Oh my goodness! Let's pass these. A lap. Concealed. Two, four, six, eight dragon. Wow. That came in nicely. What do you think? Would you have done this or would you have tried to make that pair hand work? I think this was a really good result. No gaps. Pairs secured except for the dragon. If you would have done something differently, write sprint two and what you would have done with these tiles. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's see. The consecutive hands use corresponding dragon. So let's let this go. Threes. We'll keep them. Let's see. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know about that though. Oh. I don't think I would pass that. One, two, three, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, five, eight. One. Let's break that up a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe we can play the concealed hand. Let's let that go. You know what I was just thinking though? If we get a four, Oh my gosh, no, I would not pass two dragons. No. Oh my goodness, the dragons. Oh my goodness, there are the dragons again. Dragon, dragon. Okay, two, four, six, eight. The two we let go of, but we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we could play the pair hand. Oh my gosh, we're going across. We have to pass. All right. Seven. Passing blind. Okay, we can pass these. Maybe try for the pair hand. 
No, let's pass one blind. Lap. I was kind of hoping we'd get the two because we would have two, four, six, eight dragon concealed. That's why I didn't want to pass that. I think I would keep it, but we might be able to play the pair hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a two or a nine. I almost wish we had kept the two. There's one. Just seeing, there's the dragon. So we let a two and a dragon go. This might have been a good, even concealed hand. If you would have done that hand instead of this one, write, write that in sprint three. Let's see how things went with time. Making quick decisions is important if you ever want to play comfortably online, but also maybe play in a tournament. It's also very nice to be able to keep up with the pace of the game if you're playing with people who are more experienced than you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.